my Scorpio collective sun, moon, rising signs. Welcome to your full moon, to new moon. What do I need? Read for April 2020. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons. Mal for short, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional intuitive, and friend of a Scorpio <laughs> far and wide across this land and beyond. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is a What Do I Need read. Uh, there's a lot going on astrologically. I'll go through it really, really briefly. But first of all, uh, if you are new to my channel, please do like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Hit that notification bell. I'm really trying to put out content every single day, not just in the recorded readings, but also live streams to support us through this challenging time. Public service announcement over with. This is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what does not. It's only five cards, five positions. Uh, air, fire, water, earth, spirit. An element deck, but done a little differently. The spread's a little bit different. Uh, we're really looking at the east, the south, the west, and the north for air, fire, water, and earth with spirit in the center. All about your healing, right? Balancing the four holistic bodies, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. You with me? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that being said, we are looking at the new, uh, sorry, the full moon in Libra tomorrow at the point when I'm doing this, April 7th at 10, 15 p.m., uh, 9 p.m. in my Facebook group, Mark Angela Lyons, now for short, private Facebook group. You want in, you can get in. We're going to do something. I'm going to live stream there. Uh, more of the mystical magical, miraculous side, however you want to say that. And then 11 p.m., as usual, I will be on the channel uh, doing a card draw. I don't know what cards we'll draw yet, but it'll be for Full Moon and Libra. So how, how much you want to bet? It's going to be love and romance oriented because, folks, on a Tuesday, that's sex and romance. Sex for the, the Tuesday and romance for the Libra moon. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. So that being said, let's get down to biz, shall we? Um, oh, that's the other thing, the new moon in Taurus on April 22nd. Not to forget that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that new moon in Taurus. Wonderful. But we have to get through the dark moon in Aries beforehand. Ask an astrologer. Do you have any planets in Aries? I do. I have Saturn retrograde in Aries. So, you know, it, it, it could be a little humpy-pumpy. It could be a little dark. Uh, and my sense is perhaps volatile. So just so that you know, that's why we're doing these two. Cool. Keep an eye on your breath. I will do the same for myself. Let's breathe this reading through. I'll get you as much guidance and grace as I can, my Scorps, because I love you so much. Breathe. We're going to start with the angels. All the decks I read are in the description box at the bottom. Doreen Virtue Healing with the Angels Oracle for your element of air. The direction of the east. Here we go. My angels, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs for this full moon in Libra to new moon next in Taurus. What do they need to know in their element of air to help them balance the, the mind, to clear the mind, to heal the mind? Please, my angels. Healing with the angels oracle. What's the healing with the angels <laughs> that they got? What you got? A uh, retreat. Brilliant. Now, obviously, seems to be going around, just going to say, a the theme, a thematic uh, angel of retreat, and in the mental part of it, to, to really get that we're not talking about running away. We're really talking about going toward, in terms of a retreat, to go within, to retreat to your own. In this case, mental resources, but these are this element of air in the east, uh, but that does include vision right? You know, inspiration in the sense of the mind opening. And it does that in retreat, as well as it could just be rest, right? Like going on a spiritual retreat for yourself. Remember, these are spiritual healings. Uh, so kind of feeling that vibe there, but that's a little vague. Let's keep going, shall we? Let's see what's going on in the South. I mean, I love the feeling on it. It's, it totally makes sense. Many of us have to do it anyway, but to do it mentally. Like, I know you think a mental retreat, you just like check out, but you know, what does that mean? That's going to be different for all of all of us. But for the Scorpios, to even concentrate or, or focus upon, I'm hearing that, not so much escapism, but that retreat to really restore. Particularly because, remember, we're going through it. This is a waning moon. See, it's from full moon to new moon. So waning tide, tricky. So let's ask the Ascended Masters through the Chuck Spisano love path, please. Uh, one card in clarity, my masters, for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This 
full moon and Libra to new moon next in Taurus. What do they need to know about their element of fire, their desire, their anger, their passion, their choices, their decisions, their will, their intention, please. Oh, my master's put it right in my hand. There are four suits in this deck. Uh, problem, luck, healing, grace. Let's see what you got. You got the problem card of expectations. Well, I gotta say, in a healing reading, the element of fire, that completely makes sense for anybody. But Scorpio, look, we all have our expectations and things that are expected of us, right? So that goes uh, both ways. But in terms of the power of fire, those, trans those uh, expectations may be transforming. Because so much is. We are in such an uncertain place in the world, and yet we have guidance and grace to make us through this. This is a learning curve for absolutely everybody. So if you're going to expect the worst, you might as well expect miracles too, because then the worst are even turned into miracles, no matter how we expect that to play itself out. You know, it's 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 a, a tricky little work there, expectations, because um, in fact, the more that we learn about our the mystical path, <laughs> the more we get there's a mystery. So you just kind of sort of have to let go of expectations because you never know. We're not in charge of the script, but we're learning about how to co-create our reality in terms of the narratives that we give things, not to terrify ourselves so much, that expectation can be, I expect that somehow this is all going to work out for the highest good and the well-being of all. I have no idea how, right? And maybe I need to retreat with that thought. Maybe, 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 maybe Scorpios that you are, keep it to yourself because you all are really good at that. I know. I have Scorpios in my life, I know. Uh, some very close to me, too. So I respect that immensely. Let's see what's going on in the element of water. For that, we're going to ask the Daughters of the Moon, the Goddesses, straight up for the element of water. Nice deep breath. Hmm. Oh, my Goddesses. Please, one card in clarity. For the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign, in their element of water in the West... Their own emotional healing. I mean, the mental healing retreat seems obvious. The healing and transformation of expectations, uh, particularly in terms of healing and bringing ourselves into balance, as long as we get us a learning curve, I don't see why that could not happen for all of us. But what's going on for them emotionally? This is a water sign and a fixed water sign. So please, my goddess, is just one card in clarity for them. This full moon in Libra to new moon next in Taurus, April 2020, please. My goddess is sacred. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Three Pentacles, my favorite card in this deck is Aruru, the uh, the clay woman. Dirt beneath her feet, the clay makes something beautiful, but it's still at the stage of a three. It's not in the kiln, the K-I-L-N, baking oven, essentially, uh, for pottery and other things, I'm sure. Uh, so it's still in its malleable state. <laughs> my malleables, oh, I was thinking of <laughs> to call people who follow me my malleables it's not the worst thing it's mutable um it's also neutral it depends on how you play that uh but to to kind of know that in this retreat like if you really take this retreat and let go of expectations there is a lot of stuff that can be going on for you emotionally that is very creative now what creativity means for each of us is different um, but to know that there is a solid foundation there in order for you to uh, kind of do the work, but to know that it's it's not, I mean, the next card is obviously going to add to this quite a bit, but that there is a healing that can go on here with you in terms of getting your finger, your, what is it, your hands in the soil, right? I don't want to say get your hands dirty. That's kind of a different context here. I'm not feeling it that way. But like to, to kind of get into it, to dig into your creativity in some way, to express these emotions in safe, sane ways. Now, I'm not seeing a uh, tremendous emotion there, um, but I can feel that vibe in that card of expectations in the fire that we all, <laughs> we all have expectations of how we're supposed to behave and others are supposed to behave, but we are in an, uh, unprecedented times, so tricky sticky and keep in mind you're picking up a lot you know, i'm also getting the thing here like any kind of i know like getting body work from some now <laughs> i'm not supposed to be touching other people uh but some kind of body work for the self um you know even like you know what i i've used a tennis ball you know it's like a good like yellow not squishy but not like rock hard up either I'm just laying on the ground and just kind of doing that i'm a dancer i do shit like that uh, but uh 
just that idea of this, I keep getting this for you. It's going to really, really help move some stuff uh, through you. Uh, emotionally, even if it's writing, right? It doesn't have to be that literal. Let's go right into, since the element of Earth is uh, shown there, obviously, let's look at the element of Earth. Uh, the higher cells of all involved using uh, the Whispers of Love Oracle, and the guide suggested that. I asked them why, and they said, well, who better to want to know, you know, to give a whisper of love about the physical part of all this they're going through than the higher self, who's essentially manifested the soul, and the soul is in the body of the personality, and, and there you have it. <laughs> Multidimensional experience, it's all us as one thing in different stages, whatever. So uh, let's ask them. A whisper of love for you, my Scorps, because I love you. Breathe. Oh, I felt that. Please, the higher selves of all involved, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, moon, rising signs. Just a piece of your guidance and grace, a whisper of love for the Scorpios in terms of their physical, their physicality, their element of earth, whatever that means for each one individually in this collective. Because we've got, you know, that card of retreat there mentally. Got it. Pull back, rest. I read that loud and clear. <laughs> I'm doing it as a Virgo. I'm working every day. Uh, but along with that, sure, I can relate. I have expectations, right? Things that I want to do and, and, and expectations of doing the things and getting things done, perhaps. And then with that three of pentacles in the emotional, I get that, that there's a lot of emotion, perhaps, by you really creating, bringing something into the physical. So please, higher selves, here's this one card for them. This full moon to new moon next, Libra to Taurus, April 2020. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. See, I feel like whatever your form of creativity is, it is it is a way for you to show you care. And it does... And remember, creativity isn't just about arts and crafts. For me, prayer is a form of creativity. If you watch the live streams that I did uh, for Leo uh, this past Leo Moon, you know? And, and to do it in retreat, because in other words, there are so many different ways that we can serve, that we can be supportive, but perhaps our expectations, because the world is changing so quickly, uh, we're all moving into a new world, so we don't know what to expect, as I've said. And we still have one more card, but also, I'd just like to point out that when um, I started being a YouTuber, this was last year, I really feel like I was put in place to do this, that the universe always has a plan. By the way, also a book by Matt Kahn that I'm reading, but he's right. <laughs> it's not like he was the first person to say it, but he's really good at saying it. Uh, I like the way he says it. Um, but I really feel like we're all, if I can make it through this, anybody, we can get through this together, right? What we're going through. But that your creativity in terms of your emotional fulfillment Really important. It just feels like be supportive, right? That's your, your higher self saying. And, and, you know, ask for support as well, but to, to be supportive, show that you care perhaps through showing that you care for yourself, taking care of self, self-care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, well, be supportive and care for the body, obviously, but I did kind of skim over that. Went deeper first, because you're Scorpios. <laughs> Duh. Let's ask the uh, the Ascended Masters again. We're double dipping with the Ascended Masters, which totally sounds like a whole other show you could do. Double dipping with the Ascended Masters. Lady Nada. <laughs> uh, Ashtar, how you doing? Uh, nice deep breath. Let's, uh, uh, let's get you a healing... Uh, mantra card from Matt Kahn for the element of spirit in the center. And this will be kind of helpful, particularly with the mental, with retreat in the mind, to give you something to perhaps run towards instead of away from. Nice deep breath. Okay, I felt that. My ascended masters, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm the perfect healing mantra for them for this full moon in Libra to new moon next in Taurus. Please, what is the mantra that if they focus on in this retreat that will help shift their expectations and heal any problems there, get them into this emotional creativity so that they can be supportive of themselves and everyone else for this full moon to new moon next, April 2020. Untangling neglect. I've had this one. Untangling neglect. Take the time to, I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. Let's just read that from the book because my Taurians, 
this kind of like really uh, lines up here. Untangling neglect. When neglect is untangled, you are no longer turning to outside sources for constant reassurance and validation. Instead, you are going within <laughs> the retreat card, uh, within the depths of your own heart uh, to notice the parts of yourself that require the presence of your attention. In nurturing yourself in this way, uh, you step forward as the first responder to each wound, each concern and desire. So in other words, <laughs> not just the wounds, uh, the concerns, but also the desires, right? The things these are in your element of fire to even like turn to your expectations in this new way. Uh, from this place, uh, there becomes less of a likelihood of attracting relationships, but which further neglect occurs simply because you have accepted your role as the one who nurtures the innocence within you and the expectations that you have on yourself as a result and others have on you. And that's the thing. Um, I mean, I'm a Virgo, honey. I can keep myself under heavier expectations than anybody else could. But untangling that was also unta untangling things of neglect. Like, I'll do it for myself. I'll do it for myself. It's like, but I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. And that's not a, a, a slippery slope to narcissism. That's just saying... I really like what you're doing, kid. It's talking to that child of the heart. It's talking to yourself. It's like, you're just doing good. You're okay. You're breathing right now, but not just on that level. You've got creativity. You can have a hands-on uh, uh, influence on your own emotional state. What's going on here? Yeah, you might have to... Let's do the... Let's pop the picture up. I have a feeling we're going to see some other stuff here. Ready? Magic clap. Yeah, we've got, of course, the, uh, the a really good card in your element of air at the East for retreat. Not just a mental retreat, but really thinking about it, contemplating it, taking the time to pull back from the world to be the silent witness of the thoughts, right? That totally brings you into the, the present moment, Neckar Tolle and um, so many uh, different mindfulness things that in that place of retreat to pull back uh, so that there can be a focus there and upon what perhaps your expectations as we've talked about we can hold ourselves to such uh, expectations as well as perhaps what we're doing uh, in terms of what we're expecting this world to be and do moving forward which ultimately no one in the body knows as far as I have been told ultimately what's going to happen um, multi-dimensional, et cetera, et cetera. So get in there. The Three of Pentacles, go within your heart. Take the time to give yourself all the approval you desire. You'll find the languaging for that. Um, but no one needs to know you're doing it. And wouldn't that, of course, affect you emotionally with the Three of Pentacles playing with it, right? Like not just setting it into stone, a, a, a ceramic uh, pottery that, that may be durable but fragile can break. Then instead moves it into that element of the earth at the north be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care by giving yourself all the approval you desire and you know not just once not just a once and done but something that i feel like is going to be so healing for you in this uh well, certainly it's a good thing to start on a full moon in libra or the days following uh so please do my d delightful dark Scorpios that I love so much untangle that neglect take the time to give yourself all the approval your desire that you may heal and so may we all in the unity of the truth of who we are my Scorps would hug you if I can if I could if I can hug you if I can it's okay We'll get through this together. A rough time we're in. Take the time to retreat, pull back, even if it's just for meditation, to sit in stillness, to just listen. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, well, my darlings, uh, I don't even know if I clapped you out of this, did I? <laughs> it's a little heavy duty there. I clapped you out twice if I did. Thank you so much for watching my beautiful Scorpio sun, moon, rising signs. May you be blessed with everything that you need uh, this full moon to new moon next with the retreat that, that mold the clay to find the support and to take the time to give yourself the approval you desire for the well-being of all. Um, 
So mode of eight, and so it is. Thank you so much. I feel the depth of this, you know, water signs. I got that Pisces moon. This could be rough, but know that if you really, really need help, please reach out. Make a genuine effort to show you care, even if that is self-care. Reach out, ask, we're here. Cool, just felt to say that. It's for everybody though. All right, wishing you the very best and the very blessed of this full moon to new moon next, my Scorpios. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.